hello my dear students in this session we shall discuss about adjusting entries and accounting treatment i am padmini vasant i am a chartered accountant let us start what do you mean by adjusting entries so these are the entries which are incorporated in a financial statement to give year end adjustments or to rectify some errors and transfers when we incorporate an adjusting entry it is a two fold impact in case of them either debit profit and loss account and credit the expense account or credit profit and loss account and debit the income account similarly in the case of rectification of errors and transfers we need to rectify errors such as wrong amount wrong posting etc so this also has a double entry effect this type of adjustments occur because of multi period items and accrued items multi period items means revenue and expense items that relate to more than one accounting period and accrued items means revenue and expense items that have been earned or incurred in a given period but not yet entered into the accounting records in other words the ongoing business activity brings about changes in account balances that have not been captured by a journal entry time brings about change and an adjusting process is needed to cause the accounts to appropriately reflect those changes They, these are the some of the adjustment entries which we pass so we shall discuss outstanding expenses prepaid expenses accrued income and unearned income outstanding expenses these expenses are the one which have been incurred during the current accounting period and are due to be paid such an item can be like outstanding salary outstanding rent outstanding wages and the entry will be outstanding expense account debit to outstanding expense account that means say for example i have to pay to a salary then the entry will be salaries account debit to outstanding expense outstanding expense can also be called as provision second one being accrued income so accrued income are the revenues which have not been yet realized for example accrued salary if businesses have daily payroll typically businesses pay pay employees once a month suppose a business has employees that collectively earn 10000 rupees per day the last payday would occur on december 31st of a particular month employees worked say 3 days in the week then he has to pay for the whole period even though the cut off date for calculation will be say 25th so we observe that accrued income are the transactions recorded when transaction arise that is we earn the income during the period but we wouldn't have received it and that has to be accounted 
because they have earned the income for the period and the entry will be accrued income account debit to income account that is say for example i have to get an interest from bank then the entry will be accrued interest account debit to interest account prepaid expenses prepaid expenses are the expenses which are paid in advance for example insurance insurance is typically paid for annually and the date of insurance starts unlikely on does not start unlikely on 1st of april that is the accounting period so it starts when we buy the asset so at the time of purchase such prepaid amounts represents future economic benefits that are acquired in exchange for cash payment as such the initial expenses expenses give rise to an asset as the time passes the asset is diminished this means that adjustments are needed to reduce the asset account and transfer the consumption of the assets cost to the appropriate expense account for example prepaid insurance say i have taken the insurance on 1st of september to of this year to 1st of september of the next year that means 6 months belongs to current accounting period and 6 months belongs to the next accounting period but the payment has been made in current period hence we need to adjust the already prepaid expense of next year but the outflow has happened in current year hence the entry will be prepaid expense account debit to insurance account so we will bring down the expenses towards insurance in this current period by crediting it to that extent income received in advance so often a business will correct advances for providing services or goods these are also called as un unearned revenue and it is always reflected as a liability because this have been re- received as advance such goods and services are delivered the unearned revenue portion is deducted or you can say debited and revenue is increased subsequently the balance sheet at the end of the accounting period would re- would include the remaining unearned revenue for those goods and items which are not at delivered this amount reflects the entity's obligation for future performance so transactions are recorded when transactions arise okay so if you have received something in advance so you would have already recorded it but it does not pertain to this year hence we need to pass the adjustment entries the entry would be the income account debit to unearned income account i hope my dear students with the help of today's discussion you have understood how we pass adjustment entries we also pass some adjustment entries such as depreciation provisions entries so these are these also come under adjustment entries and that is year end entries thank you self see you soon in the next session